my name is Jessica Jimerson and welcome to Beginner's Tutorials for Silo 2.2. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the, un the UV Unwrap for models. As you can see, I already have a simple low polygon tank modeled here. Um, and it's already textured and unwrapped as you can see in this UV 2D screen over here. So, for this, I'm going to start from scratch and show you how to unwrap pieces of your model and have it all unwrapped in one map. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and delete the texture and the unwrap settings. Okay, as you can see I've deleted the texture and the unwrap settings. So what I would need to do is to make sure that I have edges selected in my selection mode and I would just go ahead and select the edges that I want to unwrap first. There's a shortcut to go around circles like this and that would be select loop but a lot of the times it doesn't go all the way around, so you have to go in and manually select the rest. Also, if you select something that you didn't mean to, like this corner right here, to unselect, you can just hold down Shift and Control and then click it again, and that deselects. So, okay, I have my edge selected, and I'll go back over to UV here and I will click UV Scene Toggle. Now for this it's really important that you have your display show UV scenes because that will not be active the first time you use Silo and it can really make unwrapping items confusing because you won't be able to see where your scenes are. Okay, so I have selected Scene Toggle. I will go ahead and click UV S Unwrap. And I will come over here. Oops. I have to select that again. Sorry, just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and reselected that. Now what I do is hit the UV scene toggle and UV unwrap. And as you can see, this section that I just unwrapped at the edges becomes available over here. And it is in a more logical order. It's not just this pile of matted seams. And I, from there I can just um, select faces and I can go in and select all the faces and I can move it out of the box and continue on to do the next section that I want to unwrap like perhaps the lower half of this. And then I just do the next piece and the next piece and I keep continue to move them out of the box so they don't get tangled up. And then once I have all the pieces unwrapped, I would just move them back into the box and scale them down individually, um, an individual piece at a time until they all fit into the box. And then from there I would go to, let's see, I would go to UV slash material and I would export UV to image. And you can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a bitmap. I suggest using uh, a JPEG file for this. Um, PNGs tend to take up more memory, and it's generally not necessary. So the JPEG is what I use. And then there, from there, you can just take it and go ahead and texture it in Photoshop or whatever. And then you go into the Material Editor. This will not be open by default, so you have to go into Display and um, actually, you go into op Editors and Options, and you display your Material Editor, and which was right here, and it'll show up over here. And you go into the Texture section, you press the triple dot, and you select your your um, Unwrap, and you apply it, and then your texture will show up. So it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward, um, but Again, I can't stress how important it is to have the display show your UV seams because if that does not show, it'll just make it a really big headache when it's not necessary. But so far I've been using Silo for a couple of months and that's the most effective way to unwrap things in it. Okay, I hope that helped. Good luck. Until next week.